I'm going to show you an electrolysis of water set up. So we have a mini Hoffman apparatus and I'm going to take this little test tube here and I'm going to dip it under and fill it completely with a 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution. I'm going to do the same with this one. So since we're starting with that completely filled up with solution all the way to the top here, it's going to allow us to collect gases in each of those. So we're going to run a red lead to the negative terminal of the battery, and a black lead to the positive terminal. And when we do that, you can see bubbles starting to originate in there. I'm going to zoom in so we can see that up close. And that gas is collecting on the left and on the right over there. So we're going to let that run until we've collected enough to make a measurement. So let's go ahead and make a measurement here. So we're going to start by unclipping this. And that way our reaction will slow down and stop. We'll let some of those bubbles collect. So we're going to tip this over. Now you're in a little bit of a parallax there, so this is currently reading about oh, 3.7, 3.8 milliliters for the smaller of the two. And the larger of the two is currently at about 7.6, maybe 7.7. .7. Okay, so 3.8, 7.6, looks like we have twice as much gas on the one side than the other. Let's hook these back up so we can fill them up a little bit more. So now we need to test what those gases are. So to do that we're going to do a simple splint test. Let me zoom out a little bit. So our test tube on our left here, the one that's filled up with more, we're going to test that first. We're going to let the other one go for a little bit while we do that test. So to test that, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick it up and we're going to insert a flaming splint into it, see what it is. So this is the one that has more gas present, looks like about twice as much gas. So we're going to let the solution pop out of there. And so from that noise, we know that we have a hydrogen gas present. So now we want to do a test on the other one to see what gas is present over there. Um, and keep in mind that we're only testing about a half filled container here. So we're up to about four and a half milliliters of this other gas. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to test to see what this is. Splint is ready. We're going to put that flaming splint into there. And we can see that that lit back up, which is indicative that we have oxygen gas present. So, what we ended up with was 3.8 milliliters of oxygen gas and 7.6 milliliters of hydrogen gas. those last couple didn't work out quite so well. I'm going to run this one more time with the flame test. Uh, so this has now been filled all the way. And we're going to take this one. This one is the one that is completely filled up. And there is our successful hydrogen test. Okay. And the other one uh, was not able to fill up all the way because the other one, when the test tube here is filled with hydrogen gas, the electrolyte is no longer in contact with the electrode. So we are now just passing five milliliters of gas, uh, actually just past six. So we're going to do a second test with that. We're going to do the oxygen test. So we're going to grab this, put it upside down, and you can see that it easily ignites back into on fire. 
confirming the presence of oxygen. So we have our flint out and we have our flint back on fire. So again, we're seeing a two to one ratio of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas and confirmation of what the two gases are.